forgot to turn off the mute buttons. Hello and welcome to the most generic I, podcast on the meeting. internet. <laughs> my name is Josh Hawks. I am the 303 Ninja. And right over there, he is my podcasting partner for life. He is the other guy. It's Mr. Francis Fernandez. Bonus nachos, everyone. Bonus nachos. I had nachos this afternoon, my friend. And let me tell you something. How was it? Nachos are like one of my favorite food groups. Now, it depends on where you get the nachos, though. Um, I mean, they were they were homemade, so it's just like cheese dip, oh. just some cheese oh. dip and some you know some bean dip, you know nothing nothing fancy, nothing fancy. Nothing yeah, fancy. that's pretty good, you know. But just if I'm know. gonna get nachos, yeah, you got to get them from the places where they literally just take a a dumped ingredients and toppings and then just pour it over <laughs> some freshly fried tortilla chips. I mean, if you're you going to a party, if you're going to be there. And eat them. Yes. If you're going to be taking anything with oh. you, the, the, the chips have to be separate. Oh, I guess so. Unless you're, unless you're one way. of those weirdos that's into mushy corn chips. And, you know. No, no. They need to be crispy. They need to be... Th- no, but I, I've i never been given nachos where the onions are separate. I mean, when you make it yourself, yeah. But like, if you go to a restaurant or something, they never separate them. They just have, here's your chips. Here's your nachos stuff that you put on top, and they just dump it on top, right? Right, but right if you, you say you go to, to um, I have to remember the real name of it, uh, the Qdoba, right. oh, Qdoba, and you sure. get the nachos there, you can get the not, the chips separate from the boat of, of nachos. Josh, you have, I mean, again, ha- hacking the world as you are. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that. Whenever I can eat nachos again, I'm going to definitely have, hey, put it on a separate plate, put the nachos in a separate bowl, please, and let's like do it that way. Because that, that's the right way to do it. That's totally the way to go. One of my favorite nachos ever was from a place, it was a pool hall here. Uh, what the hell was it called? Pinkies, it was called. And their, oh, their nice. stick was, you know, it was, you know, like a, well, everything was pink. All the tables were hot pink. Uh, I think a pit, maybe a pig was their logo. Maybe I don't remember. But here, that's not the point. The point is they had some ultimate nachos. I think they was what they called them. And we'd never been there before. We're oh, shoot, sure. we're up there shooting some stick. Maybe we were bowling. I don't recall. And mm. order some nachos. Nacho, 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 nacho. Having a good time. Oh, these are delicious. Nacho, nacho, nacho. And towards the bottom of the nacho, we noticed that there's like this layer of refried beans. Like, what the hell? So we moved some nacho okay. around with the remaining couple chips that we have left. Because you always end up with stuff and not enough chips. Yeah. Right? Typically. Oh, typically. I actually, I actually, yeah, I was going to say, I actually find it the other way around. Because I always usually stuff my chip with as much stuff as possible. I actually find myself with more chips and not as much stuff. So. Well, I, I think, I think... Based on what I'm about to tell you, I think the average is what how I told you. Less you yeah. run out of chips, still have stuff. Because at mm-hmm. the bottom of these ultimate nachos was mm-hmm. a, a flour tortilla with a layer of refried beans on top. So when you had oh. the extra stuff, you automatically had a burrito. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. It was oh, delicious. That's, cool. that's the way to go. Oh, it was yeah, that's awesome. Like, that's kind of the way to go. It was great. And then we tried to recreate it at a Del Taco one time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we, 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 my buddy, my buddy was trying to explain it and they weren't understanding it in English and he only spoke, uh, spoke broken Spanish. But between, between all of us trying to explain it, they figured it out and they made us the, the pinkies nachos with the ingredients oh, of wow. Del Taco. It was great. You know, the stuff in my Del Taco speak English. <laughs> uh, I mean, I I, I, I'm sure most do, but this particular one at this particular time, on this day, on that particular hour that we were there, there were no uh, yeah. English speakers, at least inside that we were talking to. <laughs> that's that's okay. No, I got you. I got you. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, no, I, I now want nachos, but uh, <laughs> I guess I'll just have to wait for that. Um, yeah, but yeah, how you, how you been, man? How's, how's your life been going? Well, you know, as, as things go as a bachelor, you know, they're, they're great. No, uh, I, I didn't know where to go there. I stopped. Um, 
in my head, I had something grandiose to say, and it just fell apart as soon as I opened my mouth. Uh, but are you really a bachelor? I mean... Like, are you... I mean, are you the definition of bachelor? I mean, no. I don't <laughs> think so. I mean, when I have my own place, yeah, when I have my own place, I okay. definitely feel like more like one, for sure. Oh, sure, sure, sure. You know, just, I, just, yeah, just, just bachelor. A, I mean, just a few short years ago, you know, I yeah. ate cereal out of a, a coffee mug. That's pretty bachelor. Wait, what? We've described, we've described, no, that, um, we've described how I make grilled cheese sandwiches. That's pretty fucking bachelor. Yeah. Which, which you can't even have cheese anyway. So I don't know why you make grilled cheese sandwiches. Well, you know, every once in a while you need to clear out your system. That, right. Who needs an enema when you have cheese? Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Okay. <laughs> well, right. um, but no, things are good. Uh, the, we uh, we have survived all the the Comic Cons that we've gone to so far this year. And uh, well, what do you mean? We well? haven't been to any in like what? Well, we haven't I mean, been to any in a while. So. I I've been to a couple. That's true. I went to a yeah. couple this year. Do you have any, do you have any uh, uh, plans like in the future? Well, it's funny that you mentioned that, Francis, because uh, just as you were uh, telling that last little bit of the thing, the story that we were just talking about, I was writing something down so I didn't forget about it. Uh, the Colorado Springs oh. Comic Con is coming up. Uh, oh. For the people that don't live here, Colorado Springs is about 45 minutes to an hour south of the metro Denver area. Um, I don't recall call where this I don't I'm not familiar with the addresses of the city because I don't you know I'm never there um, but sure. the last time I went to this show it was in a 80% dead mall so I'm very interested oh, to see fine. where the location of this this year's show is going to be um, last time I was there you know? the, the Colorado Springs show was in an anchor an old anchor store in a like I said, 80%, 90% dead <laughs> mall. So it was well, like in an old Sears or a Median it, F or, you know, what, you know, anchor stores. So I don't know why, because malls are kind of going away. Mm -hmm. Sadly, they're kind of a thing of the past now. As more and more people buy stuff online, as more and more people uh, shop just just don't shop at regular stores anymore. They they do things on the internet. So malls are dying left and right. It's not a meeting place anymore. You can't you don't hang out. You don't you know chill with your friends. You don't go to the arcade. You don't do any of that stuff. Instead, you go there with a purpose. Mm -hmm. But now with so many abandoned uh, abandoned malls, why don't conventions just take over those malls and use the empty store spaces for like you know panel rooms and like you know stuff like that because. It's a per it's actually kind of environment for a convention. It has all your amenities. It has your bathrooms. It has places for food. It has places for you know, you get it, the stores are already kind of set up just for shopping and for stuff like that, right? I it's mean, an open space where. Oh God! Keep going. Yeah. No. No. Keep no, going. No. Good. No. Okay. So like, well, I'm just saying, it, it, it's it's. Because it's unconventional, as yes. the world has been, to have a, a, a Comic Con in a fucking mall. But you're on to something. You're on to something yeah. big time. Because you could put, yeah, especially with all the store space. Here's the thing. This is why it's weird to go to a go to a, a Comic Con in a in a mostly dead mall, because it's still a mall. So right. they're still like. Right. But like if you, but the if you candle, there's still like the candle store dark. and the fucking Victoria's Secret, you know, yeah. or whatever, you know, and then, yeah. you know, like the what other mall store, you know, and like it's a dying mall, the last one that was there. So like they anybody that wanted to have a shop was, you know, open to have a shop there. So but if it was all closed and you gave T-shirt tower, right, you gave them like someplace in the middle of the mall so they can have their tower still. But some of the bigger, oh, yeah, yeah. some of the bigger 
uh, vendors that are out there, you give them uh, uh, some of the mall stores. Yeah. I'm into this. I'm into this a little bit. But yeah, the reason why it's weird is because yeah. it's a fucking functional mall. Well, yeah, yeah. You don't want to do it at a semi-functional mall. You want to do it at a place that that's abandoned or that th- there are abandoned malls. There's like a YouTuber that literally all they do is record abandoned malls and they show the old stores and mm-hmm. like, oh, there's KB Toys and there's, you know, Electronics Boutique and I'm like, oh, okay. You know, Borders, like all stores that are no longer <laughs> exist. Right, thing. right. And I'm a little disappointed, speaking of which, I'm a little disappointed Blockbuster is not is just like an active Twitter page and not actually doing anything. Like I'm a little disappointed that I mean that is bring, that, that is a follow up like, from the last episode really, for sure. We we did we yeah. did talk about a bit a, a bit a bit about Blockbuster coming back, but yeah, it's just I haven't really followed up on it, so it's just a Twitter account. Yeah, because I did I have, and there's still like I'm gonna look it up real quick just in case I'm wrong now. But I think it closed. All, what what did the last the last blockbuster if that's what you were going for yeah the one you, no i was i was actually well yeah well no i knew that part but i okay. mean just i was looking to see if they were announcing anything and mm. they're just kind of replying to people and like oh yeah you know uh, and they're making like puns about old vhs tapes that are still out in the wild with the blockbuster you know cover on it and they're like oh yeah you know you owe us money ha 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 like okay, yeah, funny. I guess. So I thought it would be kind of I funny really, to, if I did have a block, an old blockbuster movie, to be like, "Hey, I rented this from, you know, store location this, you know, in '95. Apparently, I never returned it." Yeah. Yeah, people have that. Like, here's my old video of uh, Ace Ventura Two, Call of the Wild. What do you want me to do with it? Hmm. And some, you know, that makes them kind of like meme joke or gif joke and then they move on i'm like dude no tell me you have a service because i want blockbuster back but oh well i guess they're just there for the memes well i mean uh what's what's the alf he has a, a, a twitter account going and i don't know if it's paul fusco running it we can only hope yeah um but earlier this year uh, it was on Tubi or Pluto. Can't remember which of the two services it was, but when Alf got the, was put on one, of, they gave him a channel, I think, or as a marathon. I can't remember which, uh, but they played the entire series, and Paul Fusco cut new footage for the marathon as wow. as Alf. As Alf. Yeah. Yeah. Puppeteering Alf and voicing. I mean. The voice was still there. The puppet looked great. I was, I was just like, there's got to be some way to to bring Alf back. That would be amazing. Yeah, if anything, just because they've hinted at it for so long that they were going to do like a, a a reboot or like a a movie or something. It- um, Paul but, Fusco has you know, never a lot of promises made for eighties TV show. Well, yeah, but Fusco has never stopped selling Alf for the past thirty years. Like he's he selling. Like he's been trying to get Alf on. He's got apparently he's got oh. fucking an entire couple seasons of of stuff written. He just needs a vehicle to put it on. Apparently. Look, and, and, a, you know, to be, and to be account. produced and everything else. But, you know, like, it's apparently he's got stuff written. He wants to do it. The The, the drive is there. It's a, it's a checkmarked account. It, it is like a real legit mm-hmm. account. Um, and yet, yeah, nothing. I'm looking at the Twitter now, and it says, yeah, it's just like, again, just mm-hmm. kind of... That's what I, I guess the ultimate point of me bringing it up is just like, yeah, he's just kind of like replying to people and, mm-hmm. you know, but it's not like building to anything. There's not like any hints being dropped of anything new coming or. Is that just like the trend now is to be, oh, hey, we're going to be a nostalgia account and all we're going to do is just be cutesy and 
meme-y, I, I guess. Mean, I mean, that is kind of the, the thing right now, nostalgia. I mean, nostalgia is always a thing, right? It's always been the thing. It's I mean, I, yeah. nostalgia hit hard in the 90s, and it really hasn't stopped. Um, yeah, that's true. But, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's a little disappointing. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would like, not at least being serious about it. It would be great to see Blockbuster do some sort. Of, like I think we were talking about it last week as some sort of yeah. streaming service with you know yeah. maybe you know old school Netflix where you can rent physical, but it would you know they'd mail it to you. It's, yeah. you know, maybe it still have yeah. some sort of blockbuster branding on it, so you can get your get your your feels. I mean, I guess we already have too many streaming services, but just like I don't know, do you like um, because we don't have brick and mortar stores anymore that do what Blockbuster does, or like Circuit City do, did, or like Radio Shack did. Right, we don't have any of that stuff anymore. Where they provide you a service that's, yeah, sure, it's rare, but boy, when you need it and you have it, you're happy because it's like, dude, I have the thing. I need mm -hmm. the thing. Oh, I need like a phone. I need like a rotary phone. I can go to Radio Shack. Oh, I need like. Um, I mean, nobody's ever said uh, that uh, ever in, in the history of phones. But no. Was... Well, I mean, no, no, but. You know, but but just being able to say, oh, man, I want to go, I, you know, look, it's a Friday night. Um, I'm driving home from work. I really want to watch a movie. Um, I want to, I have my old TV slash VCR combo sitting on my kitchen, uh, on my kitchen counter. Like, I need to rent a tape for a reasonable price. Hmm. Where can I go and get one? Oh, I know, Blockbuster. And it's like, yeah, put the tape in. <laughs> get those weird, stupid squiggly lines in the middle and the FBI warning. It's like, I'm home. You know? <laughs> Just, yeah, but the FBI you know. warning was not to make copies. Right. No, I know. I know. But I mean, like, yeah. you don't see that anymore. I mean, right? who is... There's, like, I, there's I, so few people making copies of VHS. Well, not even... Well, just just, just in general. Mm -hmm. Not even... I don't think... Well, the thing is, I haven't played a Blu-ray or a DVD in years. Because I stream everything. Hmm. If it's not streaming, I don't bother to watch it. <laughs> I was like, ah, it's not streaming. I'm not going to watch it. I, see, I guess but, I'm a weirdo. Like, when's the last time you put a DVD into your... Into my ass? What? Oh, but no. Well, look. We're on a slight delay, it seems. It, uh, but, um, apparently, yes. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm... I'm... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, but, I can't do, no, any, you, I can't do anything about it. Yeah, but you know, putting a DVD into your Xbox. When's the last time you've done that? Um, I'm. It's been a while. It's been a while. And and honestly, the yeah. last time I did it, it was a uh, copied movie. Like, it, like I made a copy of a DVD. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Like, it doesn't read know, a lot of them. We don't do that anymore. No, Xbox has a hard time no. reading burnt movies. Well, because it's illegal, <laughs> technically. Technically. Even if it's a copy of your own movie that you own for some reason, it's still, you know. You can make copies of stuff you own. Of course you can. Yeah. That's the thing. Of course you can. It is a fair use thing that you can do. Mm -hmm. Yet for some reason, you know, the, the devices we have for that, that stuff don't do it. And it's really annoying. It's, 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 it chooses, it picks and chooses which... Which movies it, it it'll play? It's very annoying, but it's also region locked. It is region locked. Uh, the other thing, though, I really like having. I, I'm still, I guess, I'm still holding on to having physical media just because it's. I mean, it, at some point, I'm you know everybody's gonna move at some point, and not everybody gets their internet squared away on day one. Well, and also, so in my you know, my routine, any place I've ever moved in anywhere is the TV, the Xbox and or DVD, Blu-ray, whatever media, physical media thing I have gets set up and something gets put into that. So I have some sort of noise 
in new apartment house whatever so i can yeah do whatever i gotta do and at least i have some sort of comfort usually i play a lot of xbox or not xbox uh, uh mxc you know and it just mxc's playing in the background and i unpack and do whatever i, I gotta do hey ginger's in the house yeah, I thought I thought it was Yomelia for a second there, but no. Yeah, like, yeah, right. <laughs> I saw that too, and I, I was like, "Oh, no, it's not." She, she she's uh she's uh, hiding as Yomelia. Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I uh, and also it's hard to hunt it down sometimes <clears throat> if you want to stream it, like even if you had it, like mm-hmm. sometimes they move around because licensing agreements and all that stuff, so you have to hunt. The movie you want to watch or the TV show you want to watch, right? Right. Ah, how great would it be if you just had the physical media and just exactly. pop it in, like you exactly. watch something you want to watch. And least listeners mates in the house as well. Um, oh, how Delia? Yeah, it's how Delia and Yomelia. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, I'm just making it, something now. And also, like you know, when you when you talk about um, some blooper, right? That that happened in a movie, and not every blooper of every movie ever created is on YouTube or easily yeah. accessible on the internet. But if you have it, almost every Blu-ray and DVD has, you know, especially cause that was the thing for a long time. You know, there's blooper reels, there's directors comment. The commentary really wasn't my thing, but if you want to listen no. to people talk yeah, about either. the movie while they watch the movie. That was an option. Yeah. yeah. But no, I, I actually recently discovered that someone posted on Twitter uh, bloopers from movies from like the 30s and 40s. Mm. And I was really fascinated, or and maybe even 50s, but I was really fascinated by how like, apparently they talk really fast, which I didn't notice, but their bloopers are like are like so modern. Like you wouldn't know it was from the 30s, 40s because they say the same things like, ah, oh, son of a bitch. And, oh. yeah. <laughs> well, and, and they say nuts a lot. Ah, oh, nuts. Ah, oh, nuts. <laughs> they messed up the line. Ah, oh, nuts. You know? That's funny. But um, yeah, so you get to see that at least. Uh, and it's kind of cool to, to, to see that out in the wild, kind of that old black and white, black and white bloopers from those old films. Mm. Seeing, you know, Humphrey Bogart like screw up a line and just it's weird, you know, because film was expensive back then. Oh so sure, sure, it meant business. Yeah. Oh yeah. See, even 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 Ginger saw that, and yes, uh, listeners made. I'm. I mean, I, I I'm you know I, I I'm I'm hanging in there as I like to tell people. I'm just hanging in there. I'm doing as best as I can. And uh, what helps is talking about bloopers from old 30s and 40s days. well you know so, something you just touched on francis i'm going to try and use a transition um you just talked about how you know in those in those bloopers you were watching there you were surprised about how they were cutting up because film is expensive well yeah. th- going off of that then i want to ask you why the wb decided to just throw away a 90 million dollar movie in uh what's it called batgirl i saw that i saw this today they just said that they're not they're not going to release it on hbo or in the theater for whatever reason i didn't look into the reasons i saw the cost of the movie being somewhere around 90 million dollars and i said how do they just the wb just cannot make a fucking dc movie to save their lives so I mean, okay, so I followed, uh, e- oh yeah, Swiss, that's also what I heard, is that it, it, that the, the screening, the, mm. the executive screened the movie and they didn't like it. Um, <clears throat> so I followed it a lot the, uh, when, I, when the news broke because I kind of find it funny, um, especially as a lot of people wanted this movie to happen and a mm. lot of people are just like, very gung ho DC fans, which to sure. me is great. Like you know, DC is great. Like whatever. I mean, I don't like their movies, but I'm glad people do. Um, so I was really kind of locked on to this whole scenario. And so one of the reasons they gave was, well, the reason, most recent reason they gave was for tax purposes, because Discovery ended up buying Warner Brothers and in also CNN. Mm-hmm. Right. 
So like CNN has been gutted in a way. Uh, from what I heard, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't watch it, but from what I heard, they gutted it in a way that it's like, oh, people are fewer, fewer people are watching for some reason. So that's interesting. But also, what's interesting is that these executives over at Discovery are like, okay, no, 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 none of this. None of this baby superhero stuff. We want just the biggest possible blockbuster movies mm. that we can make. All right, it can only be the Batman. It can only be the Superman. None of these side characters, right? They can't have their own movie. It has to be the big guys. Those are the only people can have movies because that's all we're focusing on. And for tax purposes, we're just gonna. Do- Even though we could, f- for like pennies, we could put it on HBO Max. Just right. not gonna do it. I, I let it go. I just I, I I hadn't heard a lot about it to be really honest. Leading up to it, I didn't even know that it was done. I don't know yeah. if it is done. I figure it is done. It if is. they have if they have a, a some sort of ninety million dollar cost, I I imagine it's done and ready to go. It's a completed film. It's one hundred percent complete, ready to go to just plop onto a service. Or the movie theater, and they just said, "Well, we don't like Brendan Fraser. Apparently, we don't like Michael Keaton. Apparently, <laughs> we don't like um, I forget the name of the actress who's playing Batgirl. We don't like her either. So, no. <laughs> We're but but not we gonna do anything. we we paid them all. We had them all sign contracts. We interviewed them. We test we tested their ability to act. We spent six months doing this. They spent three months editing it." And we're just gonna yeah. we're just gonna throw it away. Yeah, that's what I heard. List just made is that it's a tax write off because they, because uh, even if they put it on HBO Max, no profit, right? Mm-hmm. Like if they just put it on HBO Max because people have to subscribe, they don't think that show, movie is gonna get people to subscribe. No one, no one. I don't, and I agree. I don't think anyone's gonna be like, oh, this is a Batgirl movie. Well, let me subscribe to HBO Max to watch that. Hmm. No, nobody cared. I think. If, again, I do know if, if, if people are interested, why, what the hell is my camera doing? Uh, there it goes. Um, if people are interested in, in seeing DC, DC stuff, they already have it. They already have HBO Max. Yes, and they have all no coherent movies. <laughs> yeah, like, nothing... nothing Nothing that makes any kind of sense to the next movie. No. Like, they, they tried to build a universe, and they failed. The one guy that has, like, the most dedicated fans in the world, they dumped. <laughs> right? And, like, Zack Snyder, we realized that millions of people hashtagged, you know, uh, saved the Snyderverse or whatever, or, you know, mm-hmm. whatever, it was, whatever the hashtag was. Mm-hmm. Like, nope, we don't care that you have all this this like really dedicated kind of creepy and weird following. <laughs> we don't care, right? I don't, we don't care how much money that brings us. We're going, we're gonna make Joker to a musical. We're gonna make, you know, that's right, uh, right. And then we're gonna stick with Rob Pattinson as Batman. You know, oh. we're just gonna do that stuff. And and, and it's funny because it, uh, uh-huh. right under it, under right underneath this, uh, my note. Uh, the Flash, the TV show, The Flash, is going to end after nine nine seasons. Oh, and we have a Flash that we can't market because <laughs> yeah. he's a terrible person. And maybe that's why the show's getting like, canceled. I think that's no. why. The, I think that's why the show's getting canceled is because of the, the 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 trouble that the Flash now has associated with it, with the yeah. whole Ezra yeah, Miller. I can see that. No, I also think it's harder to do TV show for that. I mean, look, Smallville only made it a year more, right? It's true. Like that's Smallville true. lasted ten years, mm-hmm. and that that's a pretty long time. No one has supernatural, you know, money where they can go for fifteen years, right? Or whatever, right? Right? Because it's twenty four episodes a season. Like, it, there's only so many storylines you can do with twenty four, you know, twelve hours essentially of. Well, no, because each each shows an hour, so like you literally have like almost 20 hours worth of tape. Like, what are you going to do with all that stuff? Right. Right? Like, how many stories are you going to tell? You know, you're going to have to recycle from the well at least a few times. So. Well, I mean, that's why, like, Smallville, the first couple seasons was, you know, Freak of the Week. 
You know, Clark's Clark's gaining an ability yeah. this week, and that ability is going to kind of help a little bit with the freak of the week. Well, yeah, and as they got later, they were introducing characters from the Justice League mm-hmm. and the Justice Society and all that stuff. So he has a whole world to kind of play off of. The Flash, after Arrow disappeared, for some reason, can't pluck from those characters. Mm. Like, can't bring them into his world. They have to be Flash characters. That means everyone's running. It's like, ugh. No, no, that's that's all too right. bad. Because yeah. I, I don't know why. The Flash was fun. The first couple seasons was. was a lot of fun. And then I don't know what happened. I, I don't... I kind of fell off watching the show at some point. Because some it, Like three or four episodes in a row, I was like, this is fucking boring. Like, I, yeah, I, it got I, melodramatic around season four or five. Like, it got really melodramatic. It got really soap opera-y, right? Like, oh, you know... Uh, do I love him? Do I not? Hmm. All and, that kind of, uh, kind of stuff. So it got a little... Uh, yeah. And the same thing with Arrow. At some point, I gave up on Arrow as well. Because I was just like, okay. Like, what? what yeah. How could we still be going back to the, you know, stuff that happened in season one still? You know, basically. like. Well, they did. Well, luckily they didn't. Yeah. I know. I know they closed off the, <laughs> the island storyline at one point. But it just seemed like they kept going back to... Whatever set the season off with, they kept going back to that. It was like the same formula yeah. season after season. And just, and I don't know, just like a lot of things, you know, when they jumped the shark and, you know, then Oliver Queen's the mayor and he's also a vigilante. And yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I kind of gave up. Look, the, DC needs to do one thing and one thing only for their movies. And that is just start from scratch. Like, just mm. start from. Do another Superman movie. Do another Batman. Well, well, you keep the Batman if you want. Like keep P- Rob Pattinson as Batman. That's fine. But like start a Superman movie. You know, keep Wonder Woman if you want to keep Wonder Woman. Keep Aquaman if you want to keep Aquaman. But just start over. Yeah. And then connect them together. And then get rid that, of Amber Heard and Ezra Miller. <laughs> it has some sort of conscious effort into continuity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Arrow. Arrow. Listeners, mate. Yes, Arrow had way too many flashbacks. Mm-hmm. I felt like 80% of the show, every show, was flashbacks. Well, that was the gimmick, right? The gimmick was that he would remember something from the past that connected directly to what was going on. Just like Clark Kent had a power that connected to who the villain of the week was. Right. He had to do a flashback that connected to whatever the villain yeah. was of the week. I, so, I suppose so. I like, suppose. Oh, it's this guy. I defeated this guy using this thing that I learned on the island five years ago. Right, Amazing. right. Amazing. Uh, this was some bullets. Uh, DC needs to take a risk, like bring back Snowflame or something. I don't know who Snowflame oh, is. Oh, wow. That's a real character. That's crazy. A drug powered, it's a drug powered supervillain from the DC comic universe. I mean, that's a, that's <laughs> wow. a fucking deep pull. Yeah. No kidding. I, 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm questioning because I know. I know the, the Swiss and Bullets upbringing, so I'm really curious as to where he came up with that. So his okay, so his superpower. Oh God, his so his superpower is superpowers induced by cocaine usage. Well, so I if mean, he's, if he gets, he does a bump. He gets superpowers. Um, wow. That is that's a deep, that is a really deep. Well, apparently, he was in Peacemaker. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Deep, Peacemaker is a deep pull. Peacemaker is a super deep pull. Yeah, because yeah. that's not that's not a typical supervillain. So, yeah. No, DC just needs to start from scratch. Take the not just take risks, but stop being so moody, and actually have hope in your universes. Like stop being so, you know, such a downer every every movie. Mm. Like Superman of Steel and Batman v Superman was. We're like, oh yes, all I know is suffering and death. That's all I know. You know, I I I, 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 I appreciate the the auto mods that uh, the the, uh, the the Twitch you know provides. But I'm I'm very curious as to why uh, listeners' mates uh, message gets flagged for the word 
Looney, as in Looney Tunes. Oh, well, I might know, so take this for what you will. Okay. But at least it seems to, this seems to be getting traction. But words that are ableist are being considered being considered slurs. For instance, you can't say spaz, for, you know, don't say spaz, because apparently that's insulting towards people with mental illness. And you can't say crazy, you can't say idiot, you can't say moron, you can't say, like you can't say words, in other words. Like mm. they don't want you to say words because it might, it might hurt someone's feelings, which I understand. You know, I understand we want to make sure that everyone's happy, sure. But yeah, loony is a hmm. ableist word. It's, it's also a form of, of 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 money. So Yeah. Well look. <laughs> I throw my hands up in the air. At some point we won't be able to i I'm pretty sure we'll not be able to say anything pretty soon. <laughs> so t- take it while you can, guys. <laughs> um, I I better so, start learning yeah. some si- so, some some uh cuss words in sign language. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, I'm, I'm certain at some point those will be illegal, but uh, I just it's we, we live in a weird and crazy world. As I know. Uh, we sure do. We sure do, Francis. Uh, when when you're, you know, perusing the the evening local TV shows on a on a on a weekend uh, Sunday night, and you just happen to see a thing for the local news, and the and the, and the message was an alert. Of of monkey pox in the Denver metro area at a strip club. Oh yeah. Oh sure. 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 <laughs> and I'm just like, ah, uh, <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> that's that's what you opened. Well, that's what you opened your your newscast with was was an alert about monkey pox at a strip club. Well, uh, San Francisco had a had a, a, st- a state of emergency, and I think now all of California does. I think the, our governor made all Hasn't of the uh, state of California been under a state of emergency since ni- the riots in 92? Oh, well, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> um, we have always have something going on, like a fire or, like, right. you know, a riot or something. So it makes sense. But, yeah. So <clears throat> I, I, as, as far as I know, I think that's the case. I, I, I have to look again. But, yeah, monkeypox. It's a thing. Yay. It's a thing, yeah. It is, it is a thing. Um, or I think we're just, I, I think this is, we're just going to always have a thing. I think we live in a world now where just things are just, we're going to be constantly in a state of things. Well, yeah. well hopefully, hopefully we'll find a, a, a period of time where the thing that, that that's happening is just like generous amounts of money falling out of airplanes. Oh no no! It's never a good thing. It's only a bad thing. Right, right. Well, that's that's oh. what I'm saying. Maybe maybe one day, maybe one day after enough bad stuff, we'll get at least you know like one good thing. Because you know, even in a fake democracy, Francis, the people should get their way every once in a while. <laughs> I suppose so. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All I all I know all I know is is that um, one of these days, yeah, maybe one of these days we'll have some something positive. Maybe not necessarily money, but like, you know, everyone, get, you know, we actually like um, vote in a candidate like Vermin Supreme. I don't know if you remember Vermin Supreme. No, is he any relation to Ultra Magnus? No. So Vermin Supreme was a presidential candidate. <laughs> you took that way the- too seriously, but okay, go on. <laughs> <laughs> well, he tra- well, here's the thing. Suburban Supreme was a candidate for president, like in 2008 or something like that. He wore a boot on his head, right? Okay, okay. And he promised everyone a pony because that was what our economy was going to be based off of, having a pony. So um, it's kind of the person I hope. Yeah, see, Swiss knows. Vermin's great. <laughs> He's got a real nice voice too. When you hear him talking, like mm. uh, in interviews and stuff, like he's got a he's got a very like soothing voice. And that's his but, real um, name. Yeah, that's his real name. And he really did he really did run for president. 
Like mm. this, those are all things he really did, and it's it, it's kind of funny because again, he's just this guy. He's a wizard. He considers himself a wizard, and he has a again a boot, like an actual like rubber boot, as a hat, and he has like a big bushy gray beard. And his promise was to give everyone a pony. I have a funny recollection of this image, but yeah, yeah, good yeah, old vermin. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, it's hard not to love vermin. Yeah, and just the name, man. It, it's. Like, I don't know if I can have President Supreme and his name not be Taco Bell, Taco Bell Mountain Dew before that, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. Uh, can I, can Cam- I get a burrito supreme, please? Yeah. Camacho. What was his name? Camacho. Uh, Idiocracy. Oh, Terry, yeah, Terry Crews was, was president. Cruz, yeah. Camacho something burrito something supreme. All right, here's his full name. Okay, it's Dwayne Alessandro Mountain Dew Herbert Camacho. That's awesome. <laughs> um, who, uh, <laughs> that is an underrated movie. Holy shit! Oh man, oh man, yeah, he was well. Idiocracy is is has now been kind of one of the most referenced movies in the sense of like we're living in it now. Mm-hmm. We're living in idiocracy now. Which is funny they, that people actually have seen it because it was only like legit in like thirty two <clears throat> movie movie theaters across the United States. What is the Office Space effect, right? Like mm. Office Space did terribly in theater, but then everyone went to Blockbuster mm. and rented. The hey, movie look at that! And watched it. <laughs> Look at that, bringing it back. I need to change the colors of the background to blue and yellow. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so so it has that kind of like cult. It's not even a cult anymore. It is mainstream, mm. like mainstream pop culture because as more and more people heard about it, they watched it and everyone like, yeah, I want to go to a, a, a Starbucks and also like have sex. Like that'd be amazing. <laughs> Quit thinking with your right? dick. We ain't got to, we don't have time for a blowjob or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I I want oh, uh, Owen Wilson to be like the smartest man in the world. Sure, right. why not? Oh man, um, or is he Luke? I always get the mix. I think it was Luke Wilson Luke or Owen. I think it was Luke, Luke Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, I, I need to watch that again. It's it's been a while. It's it's funny. Good movie. Good. You know, I, I could I could watch that movie over and over again had I won the uh, 1.28 million dollar Mega Millions lottery jackpot that apparently billion s- billion did I say million? Said million I apologize said million. I meant billion 1.28 billion dollar Mega Millions lottery winning uh, apparently some a- one asshole won and. Uh, uh, the one asshole walked away with four hundred and thirty-three point seven million dollars after tax. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's that's the whoa, thing that whoa. I saw. That's the thing that I saw. I don't know if that was true or not. That's the thing I saw. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Because that's like seventy well, percent. Yeah, it's not seventy. It's like it's like so. Okay. <clears throat> Someone in Illinois, oh God, I'm so bright. Okay, someone in Illinois got it. Okay. Um, oh, they get 780 million as a lump sum. 780. Or, res- yeah. Okay. Or what? they can receive payments in an annual for over 30, annuity for over 30 years. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So the that report, the the report that I. Back to, oh. Go ahead. Oh, it, she, you're, you're, you're right. It is because it says here. The winner should expect to owe a minimum of two hundred twenty-six million in taxes. So, for some reason, where does the other, where the hell does the other million go? Billion go? Like, what happens to that money? Well, I mean, yeah. So, what? You're right. And he has five hundred, and then he has about five hundred fifty-four million to take home. That's so weird. Like, where does all that money go? That doesn't make any sense to me because that's like. You know, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, listen to me. Like, look, I'm happy when I play the lottery and I get my money back, like my my ten bucks back. I'm like, oh, oh I won, dude. There's no there, there's no better feeling than going and getting a scratcher, 
and like going out to the car and scratching it off and being like, I just want enough money to go buy another scratcher. And that's what people do, right? Like they'll go in their car, they'll scratch it. Yeah. They'll see that they won a dollar or two. They go back in yeah. like, hey, I want, you know, number 25. Oh, here's number 25. Go back to the car, scratch yep. it. Oh, I won five bucks. Go back in. Five bucks and number 13. Yep. Well, or you get the rude jerks that just do it right there at the counter. You've got your, nach- oh, yeah. You've got your nachos, right? You got something cool yeah. to drink. And then you got some just jerk in front of you just fucking scratching. You're like, hey, man. Right. Can you fucking scratch someplace else? And all the little gray flecks just landing your food as yeah. he scratches away. Yeah, yeah. They blow on the counter. It just goes all up into your nachos. Yeah. You're like, oh, wonderful. Like, oh, good. A topping I didn't expect. Thank yes, you. yes. I, I mean, I expected, you know, a, a fair amount of bacteria. I'm getting getting nachos at a 7-Eleven. But now I have now I have some sort of weird tinfoil carbon shaving thing that's in. Yeah, great. Yeah, so uh, I, 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 I don't. I don't know what where I was going with the whole thing with the the Mega Millions, except for I'm just I, I guess I'm surprised that only one person, oh. one person, one, and that's just a, that's crazy. Out of who knows how many people ended up playing, however many time multiple times they played, and well, and you know it's just weird to me. Like statistically, it's oh, weird yeah. to me that nobody ended up the, the winning number wasn't chosen more than one time the winning combination of well, numbers wasn't chosen more than one time yeah well yeah now <clears throat> you could be one of the 26 tickets that earn either 2 million or 1 million a piece which is kind of nice um but i guess the question is what would you what would, a would you do the press conference that that that's not mandatory. You can be anonymous, I think. Mm-hmm. But would you do the press conference if you won that much money? And B, what would you then do with that much money? Uh, that is a wonderful question, Francis. And yes, uh, well, the, the yes to the first part, depending on how much time I would get to prepare for said press conference. Mm-hmm. Be- mm-hmm. Because if you're going to do a press conference, it's the only one you're really ever going to get to get get to do. You might as well have as much fun with it as you can. And you might as well try and get Terry Crews to dress up as Camacho Mountain Dew to show up (laughs) and introduce you (laughs) as the the $433.7 million lottery winner. And, uh, yeah, and go under some sort of a mask or like a, like a, Phantom of the Opera thing or like a wrestling, sure. like a wrestling mask or something like that. Deadpool. Just something. And totally. Yeah, I would do it then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. As long as I got time um, to prepare for it so I can make it as fucking at a, like as uh, uh, ha- uh, happy Gilmore as possible. Oh, sure. Or Mr. Deeds, I guess. That as well. <clears throat> if we're going Adam Sandler. Uh, yeah, no, um, you're right, listeners. Mate. The money does go to um, education, but mm. I didn't know they just took it off the top like that. I I, I thought that they kind of took it as the money came in for, I don't know how it works. So I, I was just surprised. I, I thought it was part of the taxes, the lump sum of taxes they took out. Like, hey, we're going to take out the all the taxes for all the road service that we're going to use with this, you know, whatever. Apparently not. Like, that's oh, but, not I mean, but like the the weed tax in Colorado, a lot of it was supposed to go to uh, weed ed- weed education, anti bullying uh, programs, and a few other mm-hmm. things. Anti drug mm-hmm. as well, which is weird. But um, there was there is a school that has been built on mar- mar- uh, mar- uh, marijuana tax money. And I want I want to go to that school and see if there's a plaque anywhere on the campus that says that this school this was built with weed money. Yeah, 
That would be funny to, to to have that. Maybe they even have a statue of just like a gigantic marijuana leaf and said, this is what made you work at school. <laughs> it's a sundial, so it's like artistic and shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yes, you know, Swiss has the... Uh, yeah, I'm with you, Swiss, not doing the press conference. <clears throat> I would just, yeah, like you, wear a mask. Maybe not the Scream, scream style voice changer, but... I mean, yeah. and, but and with, why not? That's true. Why not? But if I had five hundred, yeah, if I had five hundred, I would probably be charitable with like five hundred of it, five hundred of it, and keep fifty for myself because, like, I don't need that much money. Oh, like, uh, I mean, f- the family, family would be taken care of. Sure, right? That I would be taken care of. Yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't give that. To, I wouldn't give five hundred million to my family. I would give. No, like, no, no, no. Million, I'm saying know, everybody would be set up. Everybody would be set up someplace to fucking live yeah. you know have a you know sure. have some sort of reliable transportation you know and, mm-hmm. and i i too am not a very uh, what's the right word lavish liver mm-hmm. or whatever I, mean, I just need some place that's mine yeah. and has space for the things that i want to do and the ability yeah. for me to do it i would be like a mr beast or something where I just go online and some, or be like those people who like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna hide a hundred dollar bill or one hundred hundred dollar bills like in this city, and it's up to you mm. guys to find it. You know, do weird stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And like, oh well, I, I um, see. Text- like, there's there's people on on Twitter I see that are like, okay, I'm some sort of wealthy person. I'm gonna give away, you know, uh, five thousand dollars tonight. You know, and like, yeah. who are going to be the you know five lucky people that might win a thousand dollars a piece? Or I'm going to buy ten people dinner tonight. Like, and it, it, when and I see a, that, I'm like, okay, clearly you have money to give away, which is great. But are you doing this yeah. because you're charitable and a good person? Or are you doing this because it's a tax write off? Well, it's hard. To, you know what's, what's weird is it's hard to keep track of that, right? Well, no, but uh, the, the one guy that I'm following that's doing this, he has like a spreadsheet, so he mm. he, it could be a tax. But but who cares if it's a tax write off? Technically, right? Like, okay, it's a tax write off, but then all these other people get money. <laughs> no, no, no. And I'm I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm not. Uh, it, it's I don't have the vocabulary in which to fucking like tell you the angle that I'm bre- I'm approaching this as, but like. Because I'm a, a Gen X person, I'm just weary of anybody out there. Yeah. Right? When they do anything charitable. I'm just like, what's your what's your fucking angle? What's what's right. yeah. what's the real reason you're doing this? Because n- nobody that has money does these kinds of things. But that's you know I think being just you know, just being weary of people in general. And also Oh I- Yeah. Yeah, I getcha. I mean, look, J.K. Rowling was a billionaire for a long time until she started giving her money away to charities, like, in her early part of her career. So, like, people do it, you know? Um, Bill Gates, for a very long time uh, before he started buying all of the farmland, was giving away money to people for, you know, to charities and to research. So, like, they people do it, you know? People do give money to help other people. Um, I probably pick, you know, two not necessarily great billionaires that people either like or dislike a lot, but like, but there's no, but here's the thing: nobody likes billionaires anyway. Like, I mean, I don't think it, there's any bill. I I think that if you if you are a billionaire, you've actually failed because nobody should have that much fucking money. I mean, sure. You're not if you have you know billi- if you have billions plural of monies, mm-hmm. you're not you're you're fucking hoarding that shit. You're not doing anything with it. Yeah. Well you know, that's like, and oh, I'm talking yeah. I'm talking about actual cash, not net worth, not fucking you know stocks. gross national product, not fucking stocks. I'm talking about fucking paper. Liquid assets. Yeah. yeah Grown up words like that. Yes. Sure. And if you have. Here's the you, thing. Yeah. I just don't think. I, I think if you have that much money, you have failed. Because you're not. You're not giving that money away. You're just hoarding all of that to be the fucking. The king of the hill and shit. Well, yes. 
I, I, I'm not defending billionaires, but I understand why they do it, right? Like, I understand why, like, if, here's the thing. If you knew you could have, like, if you, if you, Josh, Josh with the what? What is that? I think it says goal. It says foot goal when I put the oh, mouse Josh over with it. The, with the foot, with the foot goal, apparently. Goal. Um, maybe. Yeah. Like, yeah, maybe. But, yeah, no, no. Um. Yeah. A bi- bi- <laughs> or saying that I'm, yeah, I'm, that, I'm like, that, like I scored. Like my my point I is being approved by or something. Yeah. yeah. And again, I, I'm not. This is not an excuse to them, but I I understand the reasoning in the sense of like, yeah, of course you would hoard money because you then become so much better, quote unquote, than everyone else, right? right. When the point one percent make more money than 40 percent that has more money than 40 percent of the population combined you're like yeah it's a status thing you know these guys mm-hmm. are narcissistic egotistical people for a reason that's how they became billionaires mm-hmm. right success this one dude a musician told me once like the only way i'll ever become a great musician is if i step on my friends and family i can't have close relations because everyone is my enemy and it's like that's the only way to be successful mm. because people will want your money, mm-hmm. people will want your fame, people want this stuff from you. And it's like that's a terrible way to live. And but that, that's how they do. Right. Right. And I'm sure and I'm sure like you hear it with a lot of rappers and even some rock, you know, songs and whatnot, that as soon as they get some money, people out of the woodworks that they haven't, you know, didn't even know they were relatives with come out and they're like, Hey, can I get a handout? Oh my God, who's the one who re- who like claim to be this dude's daughter after they found out this person was wealthy and they're like oh no i'm your daughter mm. <laughs> like, i don't know oh okay i forget who it was like it was like somewhat celebrity ish and they happened to get out of being destitute because that would happen to uh, celebrities sometimes they get poor um and they got mm. rich again and they're like i'm your daughter i need some money mm-hmm. so yeah it's tough money uh yeah, uh, I mean, money sucks in general. Um, it, it does. I mean, every time I get some, I spend it. Yeah. Because you know, that's, what, ha- that, like that's what happens when you don't ever have any, that when you get some, you're like, I need to spend it. Yeah, it's burning a hole in your pocket. You got to yeah. put it in somewhere. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just burning a hole, and then what are you going to do with it? <laughs> it's gone. Right? You might so catch something you, else you on fire, you know, depending on where you put your money. Um, exactly. It, well, I, you know, with, with, with that, actually, um, you know, we were talking a little, f- a little before we hit record about uh, this, this whole little Vegas stuff, little Vegas update uh, for the people that are oh, keeping Vegas score. Um, sure. I'm still trying to make it happen. And I went and looked at the old Southwest Airlines there and I, I can I can fly for like 12 bucks, which is pretty awesome. Oh, really? Because you haven't booked anything yet. Uh, well, I haven't because you gotta, you have to have money in which to, to, you know, if you don't even have twelve dollars to make that purchase, you know, you can't, you can't go around booking hotels. So, yeah. you know, first, for, you know, and that's why I'm kind of waiting for this little, you know, Colorado refund check thing to come through and get that and make some of this start to happen and then have a little adventure. I don't know. It'd be it'd just be really cool. And it, it when I saw when I saw that I had an, enough points and basically just be able to pay twelve bucks to fly someplace, it gave me a lot more, you know, uh, freedom, uh, freedom and, and excitement and encouragement to make this happen. Uh, and Ginger did say I would totally take care of me and me first and my immediate family, whatever they wanted. Yeah, I always I, you know sometimes you daydream about like winning lotteries and stuff and my, my I always thought like okay I would tell people and it's gonna sound terrible but I would tell people like I will grant you a single wish tell me what your one wish is and I will grant it mm-hmm. like is it a home is it a car like I'm not gonna give you a mansion sorry right, <laughs> right. if it's like a full on like two story house yeah I'll get you that I will but but it's one wish then that's it mm-hmm. and then yeah I'll pay for dinners when we go out to dinner and I'll pay for our hotels when we hang out out of state or something but you get the one wish and i feel like that's 
because no one's obligated to give another person their money. <laughs> right. Right. So it's yeah, like, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't way. matter. Like really. I mean, yeah, you're right. It doesn't matter what your upbringing or whatever is the situation. Like nobody's obligated to fucking give up. I mean, you, you spent your own money to take a chance on something and you happen to, yeah. you happen upon it. Yeah. Yeah. It was a gamble and you happen to win. Right. So, you, you know, I think, yeah, I think a wish is a pretty good deal. Because that's how people get, you know, you always hear about it, right? You win the lottery and then all of a sudden you're poor two weeks later because you bought 17 yachts and like mm-hmm. 50 houses because I have the money for mm-hmm. it. And then you don't think too far. You think so not far into the future and that happens. Right. But yeah, if you had that money, look, put put, I mean, put the chip it, on Red 19 when you go to Vegas. <laughs> I'm telling you. Telling you. We, I know got- what else was about on black. I know we're supposed to do that, but just red well, nineteen done. Yeah, it it would be. I mean, when you, when you win, you know, a couple thousand, that's different, mm-hmm. right? But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, four point something, your four hundred something million dollar take home. That's that's different. You know. Yeah. That is. Yeah, yeah. you want a house? Let me help you. Let me just pay for it. You know, you yeah. you, well, you want to do this? Let yeah. me just pay for it. You know, yeah. um, but that, you, that's kind you... of why I say. Oh, sorry. No, what? go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. I was, okay, I just said that, that's the reason why I said one wi- the one wish thing in my head. It's like, oh yeah, because get, like you said, people are going to come out of the woodwork. People are going to want to, you know, a thing. And I'm just like, why? I'm not going to deny a person who happened to be my friend at one point and. You know, whatever we discovered our friendship, <laughs> right. right? Well, it like, okay, cool. Yeah, I rediscovered our friendship when I rediscovered that you were rich. Yeah, right. Exactly. Which is fine. I understand that. I, I get it. Right. Um, I'm I, I'm too embarrassed. I feel like I'm too embarrassed to do that. If I knew, like, if you, Josh, were all of a sudden a millionaire, I I try to do everything not to bring it up and just kind of live life as normal because I'm like, like I said, you don't owe me anything. Right. So why I'm not going to be like, yeah. Hey Josh, can I can, I, can you for, you know can I have a couple thousand dollars, whatever? Like I'm not gonna do that, but if people want to do that to me, I think it's perfectly fine, and I'm sure. here. One sure. wish, you got it. One wish, you got it. Uh, listeners, mate, hundreds of millions. I'm calling a lawyer right after a good panic attack. Yeah, I mean. Oh yeah, no, no, yes. I, yes. I, I, yes. I, number one. I, I don't, I don't even like know what kind of lawyer I would I mean I I know what kind, I know the lawyer I would call but I don't even know if he would have be of any help to me but I've only I would only call that lawyer so many times because I've heard his advertisement on another podcast you know what lawyer is this well then we're doing a service to somebody that's not going to pay us oh well, that's true okay. yeah. yeah there's there's finance lawyers that you can yeah, you can, yeah. I, I but you know look. You'd have to call a lawyer. See, I would call that lawyer that I always get advertised about and then be like, hey, I have got all this money. I need a good finance lawyer. Who do you know? Oh, yeah, sure. And do they have as cool Um, of a theme song as you do? (laughs) (laughs) All all the the lawyers that advertise here are injury lawyers. None of them are Mm. like, that's it. They're just injury lawyers. Do they they show up at, at... car accidents like vultures and shit that's oh, disgusting yeah. they're like they're like uh tow truck chasers mm, a little bit yeah yeah you know but they also have cool jingles and they have like weird uh billboards so i'm all for a local uh, a crappy local uh advertisement of some kind in fact that will well, let's try it. can we do that francis can we show clips like youtube clips on here of course, yeah. Like that's 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 fair use stuff. Like we can do that. Yeah. Okay. Um. Other other Twitch people do it all the time. <laughs> okay. No, I because I don't understand it all. So that's why I'm I, not that you uh, not that you I, understand it all. But at least if I ask you, then it it shows that we're trying, <laughs> we're putting it out there to the universe that we we, we at least thought of it before we did it. <laughs> so for license like licensed music, you can play live, but then when if anyone listens to this after the fact. They mute the music 
Gotcha. And they mute the whole channel. So they mute the channel for the length of that song. Gotcha. So don't you don't want licensed music on here, but I sure. but YouTube videos, I but, see it all the time. But if we did well, right, right, right. But if we played yeah. if, if if the homework for next week would be to come up with a couple um local YouTube, you know, or local commercials that are on YouTube. Yeah. We could play a couple of them on here, yes? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because commercials commercials are different. Um, in the sense of, especially if they're for local, mm-hmm. yeah, that's not going to cause, even in YouTube, that shouldn't cause any problems. Okay. Unless they use licensed music. Well, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> then it's an issue, but yeah. All right, well, maybe maybe we'll maybe we'll think of some. You out there, if you uh, have some funny local, local uh, commercial videos that you would like us to maybe talk about or review, maybe we can do that next well, week or at some point. So many. Or some point in the future. So we, 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 can, we can do things. Because this this show is fluid, we change we change as we go with things, um, and as we go with things right now, we're out of time. We're only out of time. Oh, we are out of time. We're out of time because I'm tired. It was oh, a, really oh. yeah. I had a Tuesday. I didn't have a. I had a fine Monday, but I had a I had a Tuesday. Oh wow! Well. Yeah. So yeah, stuff uh, kind of have a Tuesday. Stuff do happens on Tuesday. Oops push the button too many times uh so that is going to be everything for this week uh you can uh, join in on the show with us uh, we encourage this every week maybe you can uh during the course of the next week think of uh, a, a link or two from the youtubes or from some goofy commercial you want us to check out and then you could send us it, that in in the chat or you could send it to us in a text or a voicemail it would be weird in a voicemail but you could do it uh, you could do that by uh, dialing 314-764-7631. Leave us a uh, voicemail, like I said, text, whatever. Call into the show, and we can have you on here, and we can talk to you and whatever you want to talk about. Email us at thepoipodcast at gmail.com. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, everything out there is going to be POI Podcast. Uh, look us up, follow us, uh, like us, subscribe, hit the bell, do all those sort of things. Uh, Francis, where can people find you possibly even tomorrow night live as, as we record this on Wednesday nights, most Wednesday nights doing a thing. Most Wednesday nights. Yeah. Uh, supergeekedup.com for a live improv, uh, and comedy sketch show and discussion. Go there for stuff. <laughs> <laughs> supergeekedup.com. Uh, you can go to sincerasarcasm.net for everything Francis. Also, uh, he needs a kidney, so if you have a line, uh, one lying around uh, that you're not using, yeah. he could he yeah. could use it, and uh, it would be better if, yeah. if you were alive when you gave it to him. Uh, go to... Yes, please the, be alive if you're going <laughs> to... Yeah. Uh, go to uh, UCLA... D- dot donor... Wait, no, you still like... You just go hit kidneydonor.org. Yes. Go there and uh, see if you're eligible. Help out our boy, Francis. Uh, you could find me on the the what the, the Twitter and everything at uh, 303 underscore ninja on the Instagram. 303 ninja. Uh, that's everything. I'm out of music. I don't want to hit it again. That's the end of the show. We'll be back next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. See you next time.